here's also what could have happened that yes there are a certain number of people who are genuine viewers of a particular channel but then artificially you inflate it by paying people so that when the ratings come out it seems that there is a huge spike and this has been insinuated Supriya Shrinath for a very long time do you believe it's about time that the Mumbai police now take this case to its logical conclusion and if indeed Arnav Goswami and his team at Republic TV have been buying TRPs then they need to answer before the, uh, before the court without a doubt but with, before I go any further I think week 39 India today with 40.2% TRPs deserves a big uh, round of you know, applause I, I, ordinarily, ordinarily I just want to say uh, we'd be very shocked with the fact that we are number one but just at a time when the whole system itself is facing so much muck, we're not particularly excited because for the moment we leave it on the side. But yes, to all our viewers who've been watching us uh, over the last several days and especially last week, a big thank you. And this is not just by a small gap. India Today's ratings are 40% yes. plus. Our closest competitor, Republic Television, is at 28. It's a huge gap. But I don't want to get too excited and talk about that at the moment because the whole system itself is under question. And I think those are the questions we need to try and address at this moment. Supriya. No, without a doubt. But the only reason I mentioned this was that there are viewers out there who want to see genuinely good content. And my worry about this system really and what is really coming to light is that it is an open secret. I have come from media. Ashutosh is there. You yourself are there. This has been an open system of how muddied the waters really are. My worry is on two fronts. The first front is that first there is uh, you know, a certain narrative that is sold and everybody falls for it that, oh my God, this is the reason why the TRPs are spiked and everybody starts following the same agenda. So that's number one. The number two point is that your advertisers are being fooled because what do advertisers see? Advertisers see your TRPs. And ironically, today is the Thursday. Thursday mornings were very stressful for all of us who worked in media. That's the day when your TRPs come. The reality, uh, Rahul, is that this is lying at multiple levels. You've lied to your viewers. You perhaps lied to your advertisers. You're lying through the system. This is almost gaming and rigging the system. And anybody who's done that has perhaps weaken the fourth pillar of democracy, which is media. And you and I don't see eye to eye on many issues. But I respect the fact that you have a right to question and to grill politicians. If you start running a propaganda and then base your fake TRPs on that, that is where the issue arises. And that's the problem with the particular channel in question today, which is Republic TV. How everybody wanted to follow that one agenda is the big cause of concern. And you and I both know that because English news category is niche, 2,000 households in Mumbai, a few households here and there can really distort the TRP ratings. And who's going to take care of this? Who's going to answer questions there? So the system needs to be fixed is my big concern. Because the lip cherry and journalism is a larger public service. And when we put out content, we have to first keep in mind, you know, whether this is fair, whether this is right, whether we are being just. If you turn it into a game where you can buy and sell rating points, then it's like fixing a cricket match because people when they watch cricket, it's sacred to them. They expect players to be giving it their best. Sure, somebody wins, somebody loses, somebody plays well, somebody doesn't and needs to deal with the consequences. But when you start fixing, you know, you just corrupt the whole process and that then impacts the trust of every single person who's watching. You know, this morning at the, um, at the vice presidential debate, there was a line which was bandied around several times which is that you're entitled to your opinion, but you're not entitled to the facts. So the facts need to be brought out. What the police commissioner has started with and what your questions have also pushed him to reveal in a sense is that the facts have been investigated up to a part. Now let's get to the technology of it. What Hansa's employees or ex-employees have been caught doing is something that is actually quite easy to do because you know, to get opinions or ratings of 700 million people who are the total television audience is one thing. But to get the ratings for English channels means that you have to subvert only a few households. So the image that we have that it is difficult to rig is actually incorrect as the Hansa former employees have confessed to the police, whatever the Mumbai police is saying. So the first thing is that what has been destroyed is the image of correct measurement and the advertising agencies are actually paying Bark 
to provide the service to them. At the second level, the image that has been shattered is that of the corporates who are actually putting the ads. For them, they have been relying on advertising agencies who say, okay, we are paying this agency to give us the numbers. Here is our media spend plan based on the numbers that we have been given. So the corporates put their reliance and put their trust. And the image is that the advertising agency knows the mathematics of what it is doing. But when you have a few head ends, which you know, cable TV or, or whatever TV is being used, whatever measurement metrics are being used, you can tweak just a few numbers to alter the image of a news channel quite easily. Because all you need to do is manipulate a very few number of households and you get a very large variation 